folks, here we are on a Tuesday morning, day after I left the Tampa Bay area. I'm at a place called Grady's Automotive, which is a car quest uh, place. And uh, I'm having a water pump put on here. And these people have been real sports, so I just wanted to do a little video about it. There's Sonny inside the garage almost. Guy's putting a new water pump on there. I left Tampa yesterday morning the 26th and stopped for gas at a town called Lakeland and noticed uh, antifreeze coming out from under the bottom of the engine. Uh, that was a real crowded place. I went up the road a little bit and looked up somewhere to uh, get that looked at and this place didn't come up but I uh, I stopped in here it's a little town called uh, well I'll tell you the name of it in a minute because I can't think of it uh, Live Oak that's the name of it. Live Oak it's west of Lakeland Florida and these people have really been good sports uh, they're putting that water pump on there for $272 and they could have really stuck it to me if they wanted to, but the guy looked up the uh, amount of time it was going to take and price of the part, and he's putting it on there for what he would charge anybody else, and I think that's really good. So this uh, location is about, uh, I think my navigation said 3.3 miles south of I-10 in this town called Live Oak. And they told me that they get two or three RVs a week that uh, run into trouble on the interstate and stop in here. And they have some real good reviews on Yelp, too. So if you're ever in this area and need RV uh, work, or having some kind of trouble or emergency, this is the place to stop. They're open six days a week, uh, closed on Sunday. I'll put the hours in the telephone number up. But I backed up to the garage here last night and they uh, let me take my 30 amp cord out and uh, run it down at the garage door and then they closed the garage door down. But anyway, I thought that was real nice of them because they had electricity all night. So I didn't have to put any pressure on my solar batteries or uh, house batteries. So. That was real good of these folks, and uh, like I'm saying, if you're ever coming down I-10 toward Lakeland, Florida, give these folks a, a shot because uh, they're going to treat you real right. All right, it's a uh, quarter after 11 on Tuesday, and I'm finally going to get to start hooking this stuff up get back on the road okay this is gonna I guess be the last of this mechanic video I just couldn't help but think when I was back there at that uh, Brady's auto shop getting that water pump put on that there's a guy that I follow on YouTube uh, some of you may have heard of him but uh, I really like his channel called Howie Roll, H-O-W-I-E-R-O-L-L, -E -L, if you want to look it up. I'm sure that uh, Roll is really his last name, but he probably made up that Howie part. But anyway, uh, he's broken down with flat tires and bad pulleys and stuff, I think, about three times. and just a little while and uh, he's different to me though because the guy goes and finds him a part and he's always seems, seems to be lucky enough to get a ride and uh, he gets that part and he brings it back and he puts it on there himself and saves himself that money now that's 
that's something I don't do. If I've got enough money to pay somebody to work on a car, I'm paying for it. I never have liked mechanics, and uh, I mean, I work construction for years in my life, and I don't mind getting dirty, but I have always hated working on cars. And especially these days, you can't even find a way to get a wrench back up in these things. That guy just uh, did that water pump on my car, just about had to take the whole front end off. So anyway, this is a shout out to Howie, and uh, I can appreciate how he does his own mechanic work. And if any of you get a chance to go over to Howie Roll, then go ahead and check out his channel. He's a pretty good dude.